dear friend, today the Universal Church celebrates the feast of Saint Matthew, a great apostle and an evangelist. Saint Matthew was one of the twelve apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. Born in Capernaum, the family of Alpheus, Saint Matthew by profession was a tax collector. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 9 from verse 9 following, Jesus approached him while he was sitting at the tax collector's office doing his job. The Lord Jesus approached him and said to him, follow me. And he left everything and followed him. Tax collectors in the days of St. Matthew, they were considered traitors, working for the Romans against their own people, the Jewish people. So they were regarded as traitors. They were regarded as outcasts. They were regarded as saboteurs. But then they were aristocrats in nature, wealthy. This was the man that Jesus went straight to see in his office. Jesus said to him, follow me. An ordinary statement with extraordinary effect. According to St. Bede, the Venerable, invisible and interior impulse flooded the mind of Matthew and filled him with divine grace and suddenly he left everything and followed Jesus. It is only the work of grace that brings about true repentance. Nobody can repent on his own, no matter how you try. One of Isaac Newton's law of motion says that an object will remain in a stationary position unless acted upon by an external force. Now you can see this in the light of divine grace. Nobody can actually change. Nobody can actually repent except the grace of God impacts on that person. And the life of Matthew is a typical example. Jesus remains the game changer. An encounter with Jesus transforms our life. Today we celebrate an apostle who used his skills, his talents and treasures to serve the Lord. He was an accountant, a tax collector, writing down transactions. He used his knowledge to write down the life of Jesus, which today we have as the Gospel of St. Matthew. Dear friend, in this world, we must serve God with everything we have. The truth is, we must serve God with our time, we must serve God with our talents. We must serve God with our treasures. When they asked Jesus, which is the greatest commandment? He did not begin with the Ten Commandments. He simply referred the lawyer to what the Jews know today as Shema. In Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4. Hear this, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength and with all your might. You love God. We demonstrate our love for God with the totality of all that we have, with ourselves and our substance. Do you know what? Matthew paid the supreme price. And that's why today you see us wear red. We celebrate him as a martyr. According to Orthodox tradition and even the Catholic tradition, Matthew suffered martyrdom for the faith for the sake of Christ. The Lord be with you. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord turn his merciful gaze on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.